Now, my name's Dave, and your name is... Dave. And we kind of look alike. And we're, he's kind of friendly. Uh, <laughs> you know, at least I said I got some tonight. It's been a while since someone took me to second base. But anyways, <laughs> enjoy it, sir. Good morning, everybody. Hi. <laughs> so, it's getting warmer in northern Michigan, am I right? And you know what that means, right? Fudgies. We get to pretend for four months that we actually like these sons of bitches that come up here and crowd our roads and support our economy and keep us warm at winter. Well, you know what I say about fudgies? Can't drive around them, can't live without them. I guess you didn't know, but now you do. <laughs> oh. So I've been sick for the past couple weeks. How I knew I was getting better... I could clearly smell all the marijuana, the people who live below me, that they smoke. Which, I'm kind of I'm worried about it, because you can really smell it. Like, it just comes up through the vents. And, like, I don't smoke pot, but if you do, more power to you. You know, Jesus put it on the earth, or whatever reason you have to put behind it. Cool, awesome. Awesome, you smoke pot. But, like, I don't, so... Like, let's say the next time I try to be a productive citizen and I get a drug test for a new job, I'm going to fail it because of my downstairs neighbors. I'm going to knock that over, too, if you put that there. <laughs> uh, so, you're probably expecting to hear some jokes about the Boston Marathon. Well, I think... That before someone should tell a joke about such a tragic event, they should, the comic should wait the amount of time it'd take for that person to run a marathon before they make jokes about it. <laughs> Let's be honest, I'm not going to run no damn marathon. <laughs> so, I met a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty cute, pretty cool girl the other day. My mother would be proud. She works at a gas station. <laughs> so I walked up to the counter, and I was carrying, I had a Splenda packet in my hand. <laughs> and I dropped it on the counter. And she says, what the hell is this? I say, well, you dropped your name tag. She's like, really, what is it? I'm like, well, you're sweet, but deceitful, because eventually you'll give me brain cancer. So, why is it that on Easter, all the buffets, they're so expensive? It's like you walk in, and the previous day, it was like 10 bucks for the buffet, and now it's like 25 And you, you walk in, and they're like, well, welcome to the buffet, it's $25. $25? Why is it that much? Well, in honor of the rising of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ... Our food's worth tw two and a half times more. I want to get a job at a big and tall store. Not for the obvious reasons, like my figure could use more cheap clothing. But I want to get a job at a big and tall store for the off chance that a skinny short person will walk in. So that way I can say, sorry, sir. We don't serve your kind here. You either need to grow a foot up or a foot out. So, you ever notice, you know, I, I try to do comedy, so that means I'm broke all the time. Um... 
Yeah, so I have to go to stores that, you know, that, you know you're kind of embarrassed to go into. You don't really want, want people to know you go there. Like, save a lot. Yeah, there's a poor person right there. <laughs> but, you know, you, you don't really, like, you, you wear a disguise when you walk in because you don't really want people to know that you shop at Save a Lot. And they have, they have all the same stuff as the other stores, but except for their bologna stinky, you know. That's what makes it so cheap. So you walk in, you get your, your stinky bologna, and you go up to the counter, and then they don't even bag your groceries for you. They have that rack of shame right there where they have all the boxes. So it's like not only do you have to wear a disguise, but you also have to be a, a grocer too. But, you know, so also you're saving money, but you also have to take out their trash, so it's extra insulting, you know. Well, Aldi's, Aldi's is very similar, except for that's like the, that's like the, that's like the, the premium poor person store. Because you have to rent their shopping carts. Yeah, they do. It's like $2 a bottle, so it's really good. <laughs> uh. So, um, some inmates in prisons, they're, they're fi filing a huge lawsuit against beer manufacturers. Not right brain, though. The nasty ones like Budweiser. The king of beers. <laughs> but, so they're filing this huge lawsuit against major beer producers, and their, their premise behind the lawsuit, the alcohol made them commit their crimes. That would be like me suing a company called Milton Bradley, because now that I'm an adult, every time I walk into a casino, I think about spinning that wheel and now I always end up at the roulette table and broke. <laughs> so, I grew up in a primarily white school district. Every now and then when I want to reminisce, I go back through my elementary yearbooks and I look for all the black and Mexican kids. <laughs> <laughs> He's way older than me. He wasn't in my school. He's a super, super, super senior. <laughs> okay. I, go, I look for all the black and Mexican kids. It's, shut up, I'm telling jokes. You don't have the mic, damn it. <laughs> I look for all the black and Mexican kids. It's like racist, where's Waldo? Well, thank you guys. I'm Dave Basie. That's my time. <laughs>